Hi friends. So today we will learn about the merge sort. So let's look at it in diagram. Uh, so what we have here is the array and we are trying to sort it. So as name suggests, merging means when two things get merged together or combined together. So before combining together or merging together, we need to divide it. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to divide it in two halves, the first array. Then further, we are trying to divide it in two halves. So we'll try dividing the array until we get it to the unit where it cannot be further divided, which is unit one. So we come here. So at this level, when the array is broken down in the single units where it cannot be further divided, we keep on dividing. Now is the merge phase which comes in. So we will try to merge it, but while merging, we will try to sort it. So in these two number, which number is uh, greater will come on right side. Same thing here. So here, same thing here. Once this thing happens, then at lower level between left and right uh, uh, subarrays, we will again combine them and sort them. And finally, the entire array. So this thing helps like goes in recursion. So let's look at the code. I have a test case here. So what we are doing is we have unsorted array and then we are calling the sort. So since it, it runs in recursive, we'll look at the code. First, let's run it in the debug mode, right? So that I can stop and I can give you a nice walkthrough of the code. So what is happening? We have the array, the subject array, which we have to divide, right? And then we have to merge. So there are two phases. First is this method which would call get called in recursion. And then uh, the most important or the heart of this uh, thing is the merge, the logic which goes here. So first look at this, what is happening? So we are trying to split the array. Let me show you it in console. And then we are trying to find the center point. So center is not essentially the center. If you have seven elements, uh, you know, then you might get 3.5, but you take three as a center. But if you have eight elements, then you will get the four. Uh, so if the 0.5, you ignore that. Uh, so um, you figure out the center here. Like in this case, we have the third element. Now uh, we are again recursively calling this method with the original array and different points like the from the left to center and then this would be the left half and then from uh, center like the middle point to the right would be second half so we are trying to first cut it here from the center and then here so let's do that recursively this would call again this this guy instead of going to the next line right so it has to complete the recursion so what it is trying to do is firstly, the left guy is trying to split it. Once the splitting is over for the left half, then the right half is started to get uh, splitting. Now the merge phase comes. So when we are trying to merge it, what we are trying to do is from left, right and middle point to the original array we are passing. So first a small two units would get merged like these small two unit will make one. Here also these two will make one. So we'll have these four guys. Then we will make out of four these uh, two big guys, which would be sorted. And finally, the last final stage. So what we are doing here is we are creating uh, two temporary array. So we are figuring out the length and then we are uh, initializing the empty arrays called as left and right. Then we are copying the original data into these left right arrays so that we can merge these in a sorted way and then we can copy it back to the original array. So that's what we are doing. We have got the left and the right. Now we are trying to uh, iterate over two arrays at the same time. So guys, this is interesting thing here because in Python, you can do it easily. Like it, it has a lot of facilities. In Java, what you are doing is you are trying to, uh, you know, having the legs and two boats. Actually, uh, yeah, it's funny. Uh, that doesn't uh, apply here, but you are having two different arrays and you are having two pointers, which are I or J, 
initialized from zero and k would be uh, pointing to the original array so this is your original array now uh, once you iterate over them for the left is left element is less than right it's okay it's cool you will assign the left element here but if right is greater which means if this is not true then you will put the right item in this array and you will uh, you know mm, uh, um, increment the counter of the k k is used in the original array so let me explain you here so this one is your original array so you are trying you have a temporary so you are trying to copy uh, the item between left and right so if this is smaller this goes here if this is smaller this goes here so you're just picking and choosing but you see the length is uneven might be uneven like it has more element here so at times it could be a uh, element more here or it could be more here right so based on that uh, whatever are the remaining elements we are looping it over again and we know that left is technically as designed uh, you know shorter uh, like uh, like in the sorting will be in less value than the right one so first we would copy over the left for the remaining element then for the right and then we'll print the array so let's run through this now we are copying over the array we are merging so this thing is going on and on on and on <clears throat> inside here See, there are like sort, 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 and merge. Uh, so in Java, the beautiful thing is multi-threading. So each, uh, what we say is recursion can run in its own thread, and then that thread will take care of it. So there are a lot of threads, and we are looking at these thread here. So let me run through this. So once everything is done, everything is divided and uh, then we get the sorted array at the end cool so we have got the sorted array and our test case passed so guys this is a very effective uh, sorting algorithm and uh, again to summarize you have the original array you keep on dividing it till the time it goes to the smallest unit which is one then you start merging it merging it means you take the two element left and right and you pick the uh, element which is smaller on left side and then right or side so you have this array same way you would sort it so these pieces are sorted then with the small sorted piece you merge them and make a big piece again this will be sorted left and right then again you will be merging it in the new array the third array you will take the elements from both of them and make sure that they are sorted so you divide and conquer you divide and merge so that is merge sort my name is Asim Jain thanks for watching the video and please like if you really like it otherwise just don't like and share it with your friends thank you